I know Grosjean's better, but Magnussen's better. Magnus- I know Grosjean's <laughs> better, but Magnussen's better. <laughs> Inspired commentary there, then. From <laughs> Shut up and sit down. Hello, and welcome to the next episode of Crash Helmet Media's Formula One podcast. Joining me in studio today is... Hi, I'm Josh Sherry. Hi, I'm Luke McVeigh. I'm me. And I'm your presenter, Vinton McGuinness. To talk about me, Mr. Evan Kearns, you're looking very dapper today. You are. Is she, my, is, is are you dressed up for these? I mean, just because we've hit uh, record high numbers on yes. our views. Yes, we are. Uh, Well, thank you. In the previous episode, we hit... Uh, but this is a couple of days ago. We hit eleven hundred. We hit eleven hundred uh, views on episode one. So if you want to see more, click subscribe. Up well, it won't be there. It'll actually be down here because. I mean, and hello to all our competitors listening in. We're coming for you. You're just pointing at your gentleman's relish there. Watch your back. <laughs> Stop being so fucking dry. <laughs> so, gentlemen. Yes. What are we going to open with today? I think we should move over to Luke here uh, and discuss. The Haas' second season syndrome. Yeah, they last season they were shit, shit. Yeah. And are they really gonna come back? Cause like, yeah, Gene Haas is sort of he seems didn't he say last year at some point he was kind of depressed, like he with the whole thing. He did, he did. I think, I think he did. But all Americans are taking Xanax and all that crack anyway. It's, <laughs> it's, it's, it's popular to have anxiety and depression. They're just, it's, it's a fashion statement no. these days. Their issue was they had a fantastic. <laughs> okay. They had a fantastic start with was sixth place with Grosjean in Australia. Yeah. And mm-hmm. they kind of tapered off. Their second year was tapered off. Jesus, they just they, they, they sank. <laughs> it, it hit a cliff like harder. Than, it hit a cliff harder than twenty twelve Pirelli. So. I mean, they got so bad. Grosjean didn't even want to drive the car. <laughs> yeah, and was it was it America? Was it? Yes, was it? yeah, oh, America last lap. America, America. Their home so, GP. <laughs> the last lap. We like, forget that though. But like anyway, so they had a bad season, and coming into this year, do we really see any improvement? Because uh, like looking at testing, they really look like they're not at anything. <laughs> Well, they had the second highest time in speed traps today. Sorry, speed traps. Uh, lap time today. Yeah. Look, I know Grosjean's better, but Magnussen's better. Magnus- I know Grosjean's better, but Magnussen's better. <laughs> Inspired commentary there, then. From that- <laughs> now here, guy with an English please, degree. Please, here, let us in on this. No, he hasn't got it yet. <laughs> Six weeks. Hear me out. Go on. So, Grosjean's quick and whatever, but he's never quite made it the whole way. Mm-hmm. And Magnus and Hans. Magnus has been on the podium. So has Grosjean. Oh, yeah, he has actually. Yeah. <laughs> In but, a Lotus with no money. <laughs> but what, what does Grosjean do other than whinge? We, like la- last season in Monza, we had a, a wet qualifying session. Every single driver was up for it, apart from Grosjean, because Grosjean crashed. He'd get his bloody baguette soggy. But we did see in a driver's <laughs> briefing. Which driver's briefing was it? He actually. Was it the Halo he was disagreeing no, with he, or no, was it, he, he actually was, wanted to race where was it no it was about Lewis undoing his seatbelts yeah, yeah he actually sp- for the first time ever the Frenchman spoke since no what's wrong with undoing your seatbelts after the after you cross the checker flag yeah that's what he said Lewis said you can still no crash. no Grosjean was given out about it look at Vettel in Malaysia have we seen the F1 taxis crash. what the F1 taxis F1 taxi. oh I love a good F1 oh, taxi oh, oh. I love an F1 Vettel taxi that's yeah, why I miss yeah. Verline He's not really gone yet, so we can't miss him. He's still still a Mercedes reserve driver. He's gone. He's gone. He's gone. But, yeah, so, um, so anyway, I think it was Malaysian Grand Prix where, if you actually look at those press conference videos, like the Mm. driver's briefing, all they are is Grosjean ratting on other drivers. So, for instance, Grosjean says to Charlie, um, uh, what's the story with the uh, seatbelts? He goes, are you allowed to take them off after the checkered flag? And then Charlie's like, no. He goes, well, Lewis has been doing it a lot. And then it cuts to Lewis and he's like, and he's like, I only do it so I can get out of the car no, Lewis more was, and wave to the fans. <laughs> Lewis was like, I loosen them. And then he, oh, yeah, he, I loosen and them. Then he was like, <laughs> can you loosen them? He's like, no. <laughs> he's like, I loosen them. He's like, no, no he I undo them. I don't know, he didn't. He was like, no, no, I think Massa said, do you loosen them? And then he said, is that what you do, Lewis? No, <laughs> I undo <laughs> them. <laughs> the steadfast rule is you shouldn't take them off until you stop the car. Or it's penalty points. Yes, he should have penalty points. I mean, ah, look, th- who, who are they going to harm themselves? 
That's yes. it. Yeah. And right. Well, like, there unless was, like, Vettel... action for road safety thing. Like, unless Vettel... Vettel's there. It wasn't Vettel's fault. It was Vettel's fault. The yeah. stroll Vettel. Who's fault even was it? Oh, oh no, Vettel. this is Vettel's no. Vettel's fault. It's a racing incident. It was a racing. Well, they weren't. Ra- if you look at it, right? I know from. I know from. Vettel's. I know from. I, I know from, Stroll let go of the steering wheel. I know. If, no. If you look at if you look at Vettel's on board, it looks like Stroll just goes out. But if you actually watch Stroll's on board, Stroll is kind of just keeping going with the corner, and Vettel cuts across him. Like I know you'll say, okay, some people might say it was Stroll's fault, but a four-time world champion should not be getting into into those kind of accidents. Vettel had the right to the corner by those standards. I think, I think now that we are in episode five, let's lay the groundworks and admit that Evan will be slightly biased when it comes to talking about certain drivers. Mm. Who are you a fan of, Evan? Lewis Hamilton. And would you ever have said you might have been biased towards him in the past? And but Mercedes aren't my favorite. disfavorably again about certain drivers. Mercedes aren't my favorite team. Who are? Yeah. Ferrari. <laughs> I mean, I'm not joking. That's I mean that's, that's blasphemous. Yeah. That yeah, I mean how bad. how you got to how this far in, in life? Morning? How did you handle two thousand and seven? Two thousand and seven was quite. What's your opinion no, on you, Chinese? Two thousand and seven, he couldn't lose. Two thousand and seven was. Do you like him one? Yeah. Yes. How no, did so I handle it? I was very young. So I was, I was eleven. <laughs> I was quite unhappy when Hamilton's gearbox broke but at the time I didn't really know what it meant I mean but you say your favourite season was 2009 that's when Ferrari's no. 2010 was probably the best season we've ever had we what we oh it's a we 2010 let's call it space yeah. you're a Mercedes fan to end off okay mm-hmm. do you own any Ferrari t-shirts no do you own any Mercedes t-shirts no do you own any, yes, do you own any Mercedes t-shirts yes you do, t-shirts? Yes, do, you own, you do. do you other Mercedes <laughs> merchandise such as hats and jackets oh, I have a Lewis Hamilton yellow hat it's quite obnoxious. And the only Ferrari piece of merchandise that you have is? I bought a t-shirt for my dad. No, 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 no that you have. You have a lanyard, don't you? Oh, yeah. Actually, <laughs> <laughs> I forgot. I, I, at the Belgian Grand Prix last year, I wore Kimi Räikkönen lanyard all weekend. No, I bought you aftershave for your birthday. Oh, yeah, Josh bought me You Ferrari. wanker. Good to know you're oh, thinking of me. I'm sorry. Wait, that. you buy each other presents? For I them. bought him Ferrari aftershave. He bought me Ferrari aftershave. Yeah. I actually I wear thought- it a lot. It smells lovely. Does it lovely. Actually, I actually have that also it's I got lovely. for Christmas it's lovely. actually really good it does smell lovely yeah. it's a musk on the talk of weird fucking gifts I was in motorsport.com the last day mm-hmm. and I was scrolling and Giorgio Piola decided to advertise one of his watches that is Swiss made by an Italian for 3,000 <laughs> euro right <laughs> I want to know does the average motorsport.com fan have 3,000 euro to no. spend on a watch? How much is the membership? Or you have to pay for motorsport.com, don't you? No, it's no. For Prime articles. Prime. Yeah, but but fancy and expensive watches are like, are core of Formula One. Always have been. They are. With, you got Tag Heuer. You have a bloody you've watch. You've got Ricky Mealy. Bull, yeah. <laughs> you've got <laughs> Tag Heuer. Tag Heuer, yeah. Heuer, yeah. yeah. What I'm saying is, though, is that you don't go fucking around advertising Richard Mead watches on motorsport.com. It's quite random. You know, mm. it's a waste of money. It is a waste of money. Yeah. So who is this person you're talking about? It's Richard Mead. You know, no, no, before that. The, the, G- no. Giorgio Piola. Yeah, who is he? You know the fellow that does all the cool illustrations for Formula 1? Like all the drawings. All the drawings of like... Is the he not Sean races? Red Bull? <laughs> no, oh God, no. <laughs> That's the livery fella. Okay. Do you know, you know like when F1.com, whenever there was like a new part came out for a car... Okay. There's like some fella did like a drawing of it rather oh, than yes. the actual pictures. sketches. Oh, okay. Know, him. But now he's designed like two watches that are Swiss made. Right. And apparently one of them is like 3,000 euro. I doubt he's designed them. I'm sure he's got some choreographer to... Or what, what's, <laughs> a, what, what's a watchmaker called? An urologist. That's the one. He's got one of them to design it. And he's, he's just whacked his name on it. I'm just completely perplexed. <laughs> choreographer <whole> time. Exactly. Uh, so wait, can we just wrap up the Haas thing firstly? Haas. Um, yes. But here, on Haas, are Haas going to struggle this year now that they're no longer the Ferrari B team? They're the, bastards. The, yes. I mean, are, yes. are they now the third team? Are they just getting the spares? There's, or actually, another point is... They're a customer. Like, there's, there's, Haas, we're getting all Ferrari second-hand parts. Yeah. Cyber's getting that, so are Cyber there's rumors, going to do any better than Haas last year? There's rumours swirling around that, that the Haas could potentially become Haas Maserati. There is, yes, mm. and that would be phenomenal. So we could have, but it would be a front for one of the 
biggest names in the business. It, it's just Ferrari. I thought you were going to say something like money laundering, but <laughs> no, I, th- I just what? when you when you, you think just of, said a front first. Oh, okay. I have a soft spot for Maserati. The, the, they are gorgeous. The two forty F was just. Oh. The, the, hard website, spot, I was gonna <laughs> the website's pretty cool because they have like a little uh, WAV file for every what website's this the Maserati website for every car they sell oh they I thought have, this is where you got your hard spot <laughs> <laughs> they have just a little dot com <laughs> they just have a like uh, just it's just a media file for just listening to every engine and then you can listen to every gearbox change and everything it's such a cool website they how have, I don't want to stumble across this website let's Josh go yes. on let's hit us with your fact Fact of the day. Yes. Okay, guys. Our fact of the day is coming fr- to you. Coming from Josh's hard spot. <laughs> <laughs> That's gone soft. <laughs> it's a flat spot now. <laughs> Damn track. It's our second favourite Eddie. Irvine. Eddie Irvine won his first Grand Prix on this day in 1999. He won the Australian Grand Prix. He started sixth on the grid. What a lad. And now he's gone on to do many things. Jeez, he, loved, he loves drinking including women, his, he? Including his infamous go-karting track in Yuri. <laughs> have you ever... <laughs> which you, I do not advise going to still. <laughs> have you heard... Under Josh's personal opinion, have you heard the story... It does that, not necessarily reflect the views of the show. <laughs> have you, have, have you, you been? No. It's terrible. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> have you heard the stories about Irvine actually in Monaco? In Monaco. In Monaco, it's brilliant. It's like you'd have all. Of where, the... where? Sorry, where was Irvine from anyway? In the he just north? has orgies on his it's... boat, doesn't he? Though. Where's he from in the north? <laughs> he's been down. He's from County Down. Yeah. The he's man from... from the County Down in Monaco. He's, right, he's up, you go. He's up and down. He's up and down. Um. So in Monaco, he yeah, obviously you know everyone's sat in their like right, I want to win the Monaco Grand Prix, so they're sat in their car, getting ready. Next thing, Irvine strolls in the fucking scooter with two women on the back. <laughs> when was this? Stro- Legend. Strolls in on the scooter. Strolls in on the scooter. <laughs> but rolls in. They see me rolling. They hate hate him. Him. I'm nearly one world champion. <laughs> he did. That was actually in 1999. The year he won his first Grand Prix was the year he, sh- he probably should have won, yeah. won the championship. Um, he fucked it. He did. Well, no, Matthew. it was Ferrari's fault. It wasn't his fault. How? He, he How just wasn't Ferrari's? good enough. Like. Mick, as I said before Mick Hacknan was putting it up on a play for him he was yeah he really should have won it he, he should, should have won uh, it yeah missed out by as you say a, a handful of points so that's it for this week's episode thanks for tuning in yet again so thank you please subscribe click here please subscribe yeah. here Jumps on. Or, you, or you can pick down here or there down there or there down here preferably wherever you find a subscribe button just fucking click it yeah smash that subscribe button right oh my ears <laughs> thank you thank you bye bye that was good. Shut up and sit down.